Welcome to Electron Line. Here we're still going to do subtraction with double digit numbers, but I've mixed them up for you so you can see when to do one method and when to do the other method. Always look at the last two numbers and notice if this number is smaller than that, then you do it one way. But if you look at these two numbers, notice that this number is bigger than this and you do it a different way. Let's start with this number. If it's smaller than that and this number is smaller than that, you simply subtract the one from the two and the two from the six. 1 subtract from 2 gives me 1, 2 subtract from 6 gives me 4, and the answer is 14. Again, quickly check to see if you did it right by adding these number, two numbers together to see if you get the original number back. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 4 is 6. Yes, we did it correctly. But if you have a situation where the second number here, the 8, is bigger than the number 5 here, it makes it more difficult to subtract. What I do instead then is I add two more to that and I subtract 30 from 45 instead of 28. I'm subtracting two more from the answer or from the original number. So 45 minus 30, 4 minus 3 is 1, that gives me 15. But I subtracted two more than I should, I add that back up. 15 plus 2 is 17, my answer is 17. Again, quickly to check to see if I did it correctly, 2 plus 1 is 3 which is not 4, but I realize that 8 plus 7 gives me more than 10, so I add one more to the 2 plus 1 that gives me a 4, and 8 plus 7 is 15, the 10 is given away, the 5 remains, which gives me the 5 over there, so I did it correctly. 84 minus 21, I realize that the 1 is smaller than the 4, so I simply subtract the 2 from the 8, that gives me a 6, and I subtract the 1 from the 4, that gives me a 3. But here I realize that the 7 is bigger than the 3, which means instead of subtracting 27, I'm going to subtract 30. 93 minus 30, 90 minus 30 is 60, so I get 63, but wait a minute, I've subtracted three more than I should because 30 is three bigger than 27. I add three more to that and I get a six. And the answer is 66. And that's how we find the difference between two double digit numbers. In one case where the second number is smaller, than the one over here, and the other case where this number is bigger than that over there. And those are the two different techniques we use to subtract double digit numbers from one another. And that's how it's done.